I'm Tara Langston. I'm the practice manager of the OB and pediatric clinics. As a pediatric nurse, immunizations are just what we do all the time. And so seeing it on this grander scale was exciting. I don't think it's till you're a little ways past it and you look back that really the impact of it has hit me as we reach this one year milestone. All the things we were able to accomplish, the people that I was surrounded with that helped me do this, they're just phenomenal. I had an amazing team and it was just a privilege to be a part of it. It was fantastic, you know, for healthcare in general, for everybody, but especially for healthcare, COVID was just overwhelming and exhausting and there was no end in sight. And so the end of January, excuse me, end of December of 2020, when we started giving these vaccines, it felt like the first glimmer of hope that we finally had that it might be over. And then just a few short weeks later, we were given the go ahead to start that 75 plus. So end of December, beginning of January, we were able to call and let those folks know that they were able to come in and they were ecstatic. It was busy, it was definitely busy. Um, it was neat to see the, on a smaller scale, what we had implemented at Altru, then being utilized by our public health partners to really just get people through there safely and effectively, but quickly as well. Um, one of my favorite experiences is when we got to do teachers because there was a little bit of ambiguity there whether or not they were going to be in that second rollout and they were just thrilled beyond belief and so we had evening clinics that week to allow them to come in. We did hundreds of teachers from Grand Forks and East Grand Forks and it was just exciting to see. So one of my favorite was when we did the first 75 plus down at the APC. We were piggybacking off this initial rollout of the 75 plus and other areas of the country had started it a few days before because we didn't have the vaccine yet. And on the world news, you saw hundreds of people standing in line, passing out these elderly people and it was just awful. So we had a little man in his 90s come to APC for his shot with his lawn chair around his arm. He was ready to camp out, he was gonna go. And we had him in and out in, in 20, 25 minutes. And he just came up and he said, that world news, they need to come here and see how it's done. <laughs> so it was so sweet, but he was ready to camp. He didn't care. And when we called people, we called manually a lot of these 75 plus, and you would hear them holler to their spouse in the back room, honey, we got in, we got in, we're gonna get our shot. It was like they'd won the lottery. You know, the whole experience was kind of an unexpected challenge. Um, it was very out of the blue. As everyone knows, once this started rolling, we had very little heads up that this was gonna roll out. And so we had our first 75 plus clinic within 24 hours of getting the approval. And so every time we would go in, it'd be a new facility. We'd walk into an empty room and we'd have to have IT and Epic and everybody come through and just split it, get it all set up. And then with everything changing so quickly, we'd go from tier one to A to B to and we just constantly have to be keeping up on that and so it was challenging but again surrounded by an awesome team we were able to meet the challenges every time as they came. When we were first calling about the 75 and plus and so we had to manually call hundreds and thousands of people 75 plus to get them scheduled and we had dozens of people working on it and it truly was like they had won the lottery. When they picked up the phone, there was people crying, they couldn't believe it. They, it was truly, it was the privilege of a lifetime. When we started giving this younger group, we had kids coming in and they're scared, they're kids. They don't want a shot, but they understand it's important. And we'd have come, kids come in saying, I have to do this to get to Disney World. And they were just like, you know, just these little things, they were so excited. But this one little girl, she has a grandparent who's going through chemotherapy. And so she could not be around them because she wasn't vaccinated. She was six. And so at the end we asked her, you know, cause it was the first night. So we said, why, why did you get the shot? Why do you think it's a good idea? She's like, I think it's a good idea to stay healthy. And then tears start rolling down her face. And then she's like, cause I want to hug my grandma again. It like was barely a dry eye <laughs> in the room. So it's even these little ones understand the impact that this is having. Yeah, the pediatric clinic in general, that group of nurses, 
it wouldn't have happened without them. Sweet McLaughlin in particular, she was my go-to. She was flex, she was a flex nurse when this happened. She hasn't stopped working since, <laughs> but she's, she's phenomenal and I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. And every time we got this call the day before that we had a clinic, I'd start looking through the PED schedule and start pulling people left and right and they'd be there and we would just run it every time. It was like clockwork. most important thing is to call your PCP, your primary care physician. Whether um, you are concerned, you have questions, you have underlying issues, they're very well versed. And we also have our nurse hotline. They really led the efforts with the COVID hotline during the pandemic. So if there's other questions, they're a great resource as well.